Hello and welcome. My name is Gayatri. In this discussion today, we will be seeing a topic from the nervous system. Before going into the topic, let me give you an example. Whenever you are thirsty, what would you do? You would go pick up the water bottle, open the cap and drink. Are you thinking what you are doing? You don't actually pay attention when you are drinking water. Your fingers automatically reach the bottle, you open the cap and you drink the water. But what happens to your brain inside? Your brain is analyzing the movement and is giving proper and immediate instructions to your fingers so that they go and pick up and you drink water. How can brain do all this? Brain has certain areas or specific areas which are numbered according to which that part of the brain acts based on the activity that you have to do. Sounds confusing, but it's very interesting. This is the topic called Broadman's areas, which we will be seeing in detail. The first area that we are going to see is area number 312. There's a specific reason why it is numbered as 312, although you can call it as 123. Okay, now this is very prime and important because this is called as the primary somatosensory area. See, I'm writing all this for you with neat handwriting. I usually don't write this neat, so you need to pay attention and write down these later on when you're reading. So this primary somatosensory area, somatosensory, all the sensations are governed in this area like your touch, pain, temperature and vibration. So these are your basic sensory inputs and these are recognized in this area, exactly here. So this is also responsible for orofacial movement. So this is a major area and this area is highly affected in case of cerebrovascular accidents. What is that? We will see in few minutes. Next comes area number four. Area number four is also called as a primary motor area. Can you locate where number four is? Exactly. So area number four is primary motor area and this involves the facial movements, the movements of the face, because motor area, when, whenever you hear motor, it is concerned with the muscles. Whenever there is sensory, it is concerned with sensations. So area number four is responsible for movements of upper limbs and lower limbs. It is five and seven. Now you need to locate five and seven. Areas five and seven are also called the secondary sensory area because these are involved in pain perception, pain perception. So every time you fall down or you fight with your sister or your brother, when you hit each other, the pain that you feel is done or governed by these areas, areas number five and seven. 